What's going on YouTube? Promads here, welcome back to more Vampire Walkthrough I'm doing. Let's get straight into it. Of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. Alright. Gotta deal with Sean Hampson then. Who killed the old lady? What's he up to? Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. I thought I've actually got a good one. Let's look at that. Uh, oh, walk oh, across there, okay. Now I can like teleport or something. Let's go, okay. Oh, so I'm not that far, so it's down this way and that way. What else am I going there? Oh yeah, that was a custom market I was there. <laughs> What is he talking about? Can't even talk. Yeah. Good evening, miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? The sad saint? I heard he was mugged or something. Yes, he was. But he left hospital recently. You don't say. Well, I suppose it's good news for the homeless and the useless. Ask them, they must know something. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. 
Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. Are you aware of what happened to him? Yes. I'm sure he fought till the end and looked deaf in the eyes. The boys will mourn him. Except one of them, maybe. Oh, she's the leader of that gang thing, isn't she? What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the gravediggers of Southwark. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt, or worse. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard. But he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened. But you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. This is our territory, and this is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. Violence is an efficient tool, Dr. Reed, when used properly. So you decide who lives and who dies, just like that? Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Goodbye, Miss Cox. of blood left in his body. This is the work of a vampire. I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You'd best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back and hunting all these poor folk, he needs a catching. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. He comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Claws, murders by night. Your sewer dog is my business. He's the kind of prey I hunt, my lady. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. 
I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Oh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. It would explain his faith and need to help everyone. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. I hope I live long enough to see you end up in the water. Come on. Come on, out by now. I'm here, as I meant. That's not. Wait a second, I was going to run the toilet. You know, your man's got to go, man's got to go. Right, where was I? Yeah, probably ain't the guy that did the fight that thing. He just killed me in one hit. I probably isn't the guy that did the fight him. He literally just took me out. Come on. I ain't got all night. Hurry up and load up, please. I'm tired. I'm going to have to get this video recording and I can go to bed and watch a movie. Thank you. Yeah, I ain't going in there. I think that's killed me with one hit. Oh, what? Fuck 
fucking stamina. <laughs> So I'll just go take that pace, man. I hate games that have really, really slow loading screens. Like God of War used to take like forever to load up. Take a look at that first and I can focus on the big one. Come on. I can't even go. I can't even feed on the rats because he's chasing me. Oh, we got through. Go on. The wolf actually got through. Go on, kill him. Kill him for me. Kill him. No, not me, 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 not me. He's doing more to me a favour. I tried to do that before and plan didn't work. Let me kill each other. Oh, fight them for me, fight them for me. I did it, I did it. <laughs> I actually did it using that wolf. I tried it before and it glitched. I just one hit him as well. Oh man, that's what times I just, I've died like how many times? Or probably about five or six times trying to be, beat this. I actually tried to get the wolf in there as well. Oh, oh, oh. And I did try to get the wolf in there. The door locked behind him and it didn't even get, it didn't get through like in time. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. <laughs> What's well, one way to do it then? <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Well, that's one way to do the boss fight. <laughs> Because I did try to do that beforehand, and this time I didn't even mean to do that. I died about, oh, say it's five or six times before I tried to get the werewolf in the room with me. When I tried to do it, it didn't work out, and I died anyway. So I've died a few more times after, and then the werewolf actually followed me straight in there this time and done the boss for me, so. It saves me a whole lot of time trying to beat that. And then beat the werewolf. Let's go in there actually and have a look. I 
I don't see any more men in there. Mate, you only need blood. Okay, two hits, he was gone, so okay. <laughs> Find Sean Hanson at, at the what? He's in the docks. Well, I'm not near him, but it's that way I should have to go. Oh yeah, where's that body? Yeah. There was a real skull down there on there. Ah, that could be blood. This is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. Can I get through it? It's locked, all right. No, I can't go away. Just kind of going through there then. Oh, they've only faith for things again. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm about to fight this, this flame for a guy myself this time. <laughs> oh. yeah, that'll be a long ass fucking loading screen. Come on, man. I'm, I'm getting tired now. I need, to, I need to go to bed, to be honest. I think I might actually just finish the video the rest of tomorrow. Just as I'm tired. <sighs> yeah, it's like at night. I'm happy up since 6 o'clock in the morning and my pattern is extremely messed up by now. What? Well, at least I'm here and I haven't got to do that again. <laughs> You got to be kidding me. Fuck, man. I'm gonna get in here while I can. I'm not in the mood for fighting that thing. I'm not strong enough to kill him. But then I could use him to kill the next lot. Oh, that's tempting. Kind of, uh, oh, what's that in there? No, I'm not strong to take that wolf on. He, he literally one hits me. Look, like, if I go down to him now, he'll probably one hit me. He's most likely gonna one hit me. Look, let's just test it. Hey, mister.
Oh, I could probably beat him actually. Oh no, he didn't want to hit me. Oh, he must have two hit me last time. Oh, okay, I'm actually ready to. Okay, I guess I am strong enough to kill him then. I generally thought he one hit me last time. That's what it looked like in the video. Man, I made him fucking die licking his own balls, so to speak. <laughs> okay, I guess I am strong enough to kill him then. Because then he hit me like, kill me so quick the first time. Oh, you can see me, you're talking to me. No, you won't. Not yet, at least. you well, at least ain't got a flame for her, that's one thing. Ah! What's that done? Alright. That's locked, isn't it? I cannot enter. Oh, safe house. Oh, I can upgrade my uh Oh I need a good I need good oh okay I need I'm actually gonna take a photo of that on my phone so I look to it oh, I gotta find someone because I'll probably forget. That's what I need to upgrade it. I'll just take a photo out of my phone real quick. No, I don't want to take a fucking video. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I know what I need then. Any more of that, okay? Oh, 
Oh, it's 2015. Doesn't actually um, do any damage. And that is literally the best one I've got. Oh, I should go in. Oh, so it's in now. I've got to go in. It's locked. Has to be another way around. I ain't been there fighting them yet. Oh, one of the things I need. It's locked, all right. Let go. Is there another door to get through this way? Was there another door? No. Nah. I'm doing this. I need to get in there. It's locked. Has to be the way in. That gate's locked. One of the hill I went to before was locked, so has to be a way in there. It's locked. Up. That thought it was locked. And that's the way around that way, so... Right. What about if I go around? Is there another way around this way? Steel. Take it for a bit. No. Oh, okay. This has to be this has to be where I've got to go then. Up here and then fight way through, I guess.
sake. Oh, come on! That hit him! Oh, <laughs> it's a stamina, man, like... Shit. Okay, well, basically, fucking scale. Okay. A second, guys. Some, some of my phones going off. Let me just quickly sort this out, guys, and I'll be back with you. Won't be long. I'm literally like two seconds. Oh shit, mate! The golf was not expecting me to do that. He was not expecting me to do that at all. What's he shooting at? That wolf again! I killed that wolf. I already killed him, so I am. I think I'm back that way. I'm going to go. Oh, I have to go that way because I need to get through that gate, don't I? It's going the long way to that go. Oh. I mean, yeah, sure, I can take this wall, no problem. I did last time, but I don't think you want to have to fight him. Oh, I'm just gonna leave him to do him and just. Oh, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Just leave him to it. Because he could literally two hit me.
Oh, that's a bit weird there. We have to stop it! Shit, that leech is fast! She's dips. What's down there fighting each other? What's down there? to go I'm going across this way go away actually I get in for this way. No, I don't know I can. I think that's somewhere different, completely different. It's locked. I'm here. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental. Sir, <laughs> I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your Royal Highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pence. Sorry, but you're coming to me.
Now tell me what I want to know, or I'm gonna fucking slice your fucking throat open. You again? What do you want? Just cut any more root, I'm just gonna bleed. You speak of strikes and class enemy. Thank you. Am I right to assume? Eat a dry. You bet I am. Well, I was. Nowadays, I'm just another worker blacklisted by the big companies. You lost your job because of your beliefs. Those bastards really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions, especially when it's a woman. Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Why don't they support you? A few nights back, I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I stole it. What really happened? I drank too much that night. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed me. May I ask what you do for a living? I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And you? Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn that title. Oh, a doctor. Hmm, born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see your privilege. Lazy people like you disgust me. <laughs> the guy's hardly lazy. What can you tell me about this vicinity? Tell you what. Just spend a few weeks here and then ask me that question again. If you're still alive, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this woman. <laughs> If you have something to say, say it. I'm getting tired of all this. Oh. You want information instead? Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. You don't know me, Miss Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, your manners, your clothes, your words tell me everything about you, sir. I know your kind, and you don't belong here. Oh no, Miss Paxton, you really don't know my kind. You have no idea who I am. All right, okay. No need to get all worked up. You're still dying. She was really, really hateful. I hate that type of shit. <laughs> I got better people as well, so. It's not like I'm gonna come up to the district. Dist 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 yeah, I can't go words out this district much. So I need to. It's locked, all right. Nice. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way.
Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. What can you tell me about the Sad Saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the Sad Saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself. You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place, Miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. Why do you and your sister Giselle have such opposing views, Lottie? Giselle whines she lost her job due to her unionist activities, which started her drinking. Truth is, she got fired because she's an alcoholic. And you don't share your sister's views? On the contrary. I totally believe that workers need to unite to fight. I just disagree with Giselle's hatred for all wealth and riches. What do you mean? I don't believe that you were an automatic asshole because you were born into a good family. Perhaps your sister's addiction to alcohol is the result of her despair. But well, she's dead anyway, so... <laughs> but I'm tired of her playing the outraged and martyred social fighter while I earn money for both of us. Don't you oh, think she wants anymore. to get better? I believe she knows her alcoholism is a worry to me. And that's another reason why she continues to drink so much. Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her, plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness and her complaints. That's quite a statement. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill. But I forgave Giselle. What I couldn't stand was how she cried at her funeral like she was the one left alone. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that, and I don't blame her. It just makes me sad that my own sister is the person I understand the least. Giselle is the only family you have left. Don't you think it's time you forgave her? Sometimes words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. She's nice, but... I need XP. <laughs> I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Yeah, I'm not going to kill this one. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Much work to do. Why the long face, Doctor? It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Thank you. 
Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. We'll have a talk when you've returned from the sewers, Dr. Reed. Yeah, I'll get us a bit off of that assist anyway, so... Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? Really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewin? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> Were you ever tempted to join the Guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia. So you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillian? Oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. They also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. W what kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. Thank <laughs> you. 
God, that's a bit of a bit delusional, wasn't he? <laughs> Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Or whatever that. Turn around, sir. Stop now! This could be the public house Giselle Paxton mentioned. I should investigate further. Let's be on your way out. Giselle's stolen money. Prewan has some unethical ways of financing their war. Don't know. Where's it gonna spawn me? <sighs> yeah, it's hard to fear. <sighs> Come on, I'll go up. I'll bet watch my film. I'll see where it spawn me back in. After this long ass loading screen.
Alright, I'm back. Ah, here. Right, no guys, I think I'm actually leave it here for today. Uh, I'll probably finish. Might be a little bit video shorter today. I'll finish it tomorrow. I don't know. Um, too tired to even work that out at the moment. So I'm gonna leave it here for today. Take care, guys. I'll let you know what I'm doing. Don't rush your night. Right, guys. I've just looked at what I've recorded for this video. I'm actually gonna leave it here for today. I hope you enjoy it. If you have. Please like, subscribe below, and do not forget to hit the no notification bell. Peace out, guys. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your night.